Good night, everybody. It's been a pleasure to have you back here. Hey, Elena, Gabby, hey, Liz, Mr. Hi. Leo. Good night. Oh my God. Sorry, good night. Good night. Sorry, good night. Come Sorry on. We missed you yesterday. What's going on? What had happened, Leo? Sorry, I I went to I I don't I don't know how to say ferreteria in English. How how you say that in English, guys? I I thought we saw it right. Hardware store. Hardware store. Mm. Leo, store. hardware store. Hardware store is ferreteria in Spanish in English. And can you write in the chat, please? Yeah, the no problem. Like the hardware, like the computer one? Hardware store? Oh, okay. Hardware store. Exactly, like computer, like the one that you, like the hardware of the computer. <laughs> that is hardware great. store? Yeah, exactly, like that. Okay. That is ferreteria in Spanish, in English, sorry. <laughs> so sorry, and I, and I stay, and I'm stay in home at um, nine or nine, nine fifteen. At night fifteen. Yeah. Really? Why? <clears throat> What's so late, Leo? Well, uh, I passed to buy a little. Uh, you bought. And, uh, you bought. Yep. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I bought the dinner, and I ate yeah. uh, outside. I eat it outside. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh my I'm God! So just it was a really tough day, and including the the traffic, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. I understand that perfectly. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, tell tell us, uh, what did you eat yesterday? Was it a um, hamburger, by um, the way? No. Um, uh, eggs. Um, twisted eggs. Twisted. Scramble eggs. <laughs> Scrumble? Scrumble eggs. eggs. Yes, like scrumble eggs, scrumble eggs and bananas, fried bananas, and cheese, uh, fresh, fresh cheese. cheese. Fresh cheese? Fresh cheese, yep. Mm. That was your dinner yesterday? Yes. Oh, all right. Mm. That sounds yummy. That is like a typical one, right? A typical food. Yeah. A typical yeah. dinner. With a cup of it's coffee, by the way? Oh, of course. No. No, Chocolate, no, no. tea, uh, soda. Salutaries. Salutaries. <laughs> salutaries. Oh, yep. Alrighty. Mm. And uh standard one or the one with lemon flavor or uh, no, grapefruit. Um, and grapefruit. 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 Uh, grapefruit. Great fruit. Ah, uh, grapefruit. Grape grapefruit. Grapefruit. Okay. I'm gonna write it right now in the chat as well. You see, you're learning new words today. Grapefruit. Uh, let me check. Yes, that you know what? That is one of my favorite ones as well. <laughs> that is one of my favorite fruits. Sometimes it's like uh, there are two types of grapefruits. Um, there's like the, um, the yellow one that looks like a big lemon. And there is the one, a uh, uh, pink one. Uh, but I prefer the pink one. Yeah. It help us lose calories. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Lose your tummy, right? If you have a big belly. And also, um, it helps you a, a lot in your entire body. You can have it, you can squeeze it and you, you can have a use in the morning, really early morning. Or just can just uh, take out the little pieces of the grapefruit and put some honey. Mm, that would be a really good breakfast. Yeah. And also, you know what? The the grapefruit helps with, there's some, some people, I think guys and, and girls who also have problems with the circulation, blood circulation of legs. So if you if you eat that, no matter how you eat it, it will help you a lot as well. Yep. Yeah. Good to know that. Yeah, it's really good. You know what? Um, my mother in love. She has a one tree that, uh, there in Sultan Alegria where she lives. And you know what? My, my uh, father-in-law planted like, um, supposedly he was thinking that was like a regular orange, right? Without seeds. So he planted the tree 
and he wanted to have the orange without was yeast, but he figured it out and find it out that it was not a regular orange tree, it was a grapefruit tree. So it was, and it's really delicious because you know what, here in, in, in the supermarkets, they're like the, um, they're like regular orange size. And I think it costs $8, right? But there, when my mother-in-law lives, they are like this. They're like a, like a soccer ball, right? Like this, like huge ones. So you cannot imagine, I'm so happy. So every time that the tree has a lot of things that, uh, you know what, there, nobody likes it. So I bring it on, bring it on. I will eat it a lot. And I, you know what? I have a lot of friends, girlfriends and boyfriends who also love that fruit. So every time that, they, sometimes they gave me like 11 grapefruits and I keep two, the smaller ones, right? Because it's only me, right? Well, my husband likes it, but I like it more. And then I start calling my friends and I, that, they are, that they live nearby. And, and, I, and I let them know, hey, you know what? I have grapefruits. Hey, I say, yeah, please bring it up. Because here in the supermarket, it's really expensive. It is expensive. One cost, I think it went dollar or one dollar and a half. And you know what? I can get one like this for free. No way. Yes, of course. Bring it on, right? I love it. Yes, I love it. That is one of my favorite fruits, grapefruits. You need to like um, try to get used to it because sometimes it's like a little bit sour, right? Amarga. Yeah, but I love it by heart. You should try it on. You know what? Julito Quinteros, where are you, by the way? Are you in a hotel or something like that? Like, it looks like, you know what? Look at the background of him. Hmm. I wish I could be with you. Where are you, Julio? Hello, good night. Hello, Welcome good night. <laughs> I am um, this or I don't remember the day of, of this hotel. It, it is like a TV. it is like a shopping mall or something like that. Is it no, a shopping mall? Am, no. Um, in fact, I am I in my job. Uh, in your job? Yeah. Oh, that is nice place to work. You know. <laughs> no, it's only to to rest. Ah, okay, okay. To rest. But uh, are you like in a restaurant or something like that? No, it's uh, the pool. It's next the, to the pool. Next to, are you in a hotel? Yes. Oh my, can you imagine? Do you like to work like that way? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> yes, but but like you're it. still here, right? In El Salvador. Yes, yes. Ah, San ah. Oh, it's in Michael City? <gasps> yes, it's very hot here. Ah, yes, I can imagine. I know here, you know, since on Sabre, I will almost die. I had to like take a, took a shower for two or three times a day right now. Um, can you like imagine? That. Yeah. Can you imagine Julio there in San Miguel? Oof. <laughs> Julio, how, how come? But um, where you sleep, you will have like an air conditioner or something like that? Yes, it's the only way to, to sleep here. To sleep, right? Or maybe you can lie yeah. on, on the floor. No, 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 <laughs> and, and like how you, how you say that, air conditioner. yes, because I think without it, you won't be able to sleep, right? Yes, it's impossible, it's sleep. impossible, right? But, but, but there is a there is a little thing that you can put on the floor to sleep, right? Here in El Salvador, what's the name of that? Petate, right? Petate, right? Yes, huh? yes, it, guys, <laughs> may I ask you, do you still use it here in El Salvador? Petate, yeah, uh, or no, sometimes. sometimes. sometimes? You should buy one yes, just in case. I used to do. I used to to sleep when I was a child. Ooh, uh, ah, yesterday. I had, I, I, in fact, I just uh, had one in my house. Yes, it's really yes. important. They said that it, that is fresh. Is that fresh? Is it yes, fresh? It's yeah. Fresh. It's fresh. Oh, in yes. petate, it is the plant, or is the the fabric the final product? No, I don't remember, but mm -hmm. I don't remember, but I think it's a plant. It's a plant, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't no, I'm just that. asking you. <laughs> okay, know. that is going to be your homework. <laughs> Sorry? That is going to be your homework. Fight it out. Uh, which plant do you use to make the pedate? Right? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. You know what? I'm going to try to search for one, but where can I find it? And uh, in Suchitoto? 
or I don't know. Oh, in you can buy it uh, uh -huh. at, at the, in the center. On the downtown? Mm -hmm, the downtown. But where exactly? Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe um, Mercado Cuartel. Uh, ex Cuartel? Ah, ex Cuartel. Mm -hmm. oh, I think I'm yeah. going to take that um, bus number 10. Uh huh. I think it gets a stop there and then I can get in. Um, okay. I will search for that just in case because you don't know where you're going to use it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, you, you only have to put in the, the floor. Yeah, yeah you need to cl or... clean the floor very well first, right? And then mm -hmm. you light it down. You, you know what? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I sometimes I used to visit like uh, one of my friends. I think I already let you know, guys, about a friend that I had that lives in like uh, San Luis Talpa right near the airport oh my goodness it's really hot my heart there there and sometimes <laughs> yeah. just there's ones that almost i slept there and and there, there was one time that she said you know what she lives there she grew up there so i think she's oh. used to the weather right but she said you know what there was really one day that it was really hot that was left on the floor imagine her that she used to with the weather imagine me I won't be able to sleep on the floor. I think I will jump in in the pi in the pila, and I will sleep there, <laughs> like a mermaid. <laughs> yes, because there where she lives, even though she has she has a lot of trees on her spot on her area on, where the house is, uh, mango trees, coconut trees, whatever, right? All those kind of trees that are fresh. But no, where she lives, oof, no. I, I'm not. I'm not going to visit her. I won't visit her on March, April, because I, those are the hottest month of the year, right? So I don't visit her on those months because, to be honest with you, I almost pass away once because my heart blood pressure got really high. <laughs> mm -hmm, because I'm not used okay, to it. I'm not used to good hot weather. I'm from. I'm coming from cold weather. So I'm not used to. So you, I think you have to like your entire body had to get used to it. And I think now I'm used to, but not too hot. I don't think I will be able to, to stay in uh, San Miguel. I don't think so. No yet. No yet. It's really hard. It's really hard to, to be here. I, that's why that's why he's in next to the pool when he finished classes he will be like yeah. jumping woo, right on the pool like yeah. you start swimming right ah good strategy my friend good strategy <laughs> very good uh, everybody wish to be with you you know but that's okay at least you know what that your background helps us a lot because it makes you feel relaxed like we are on, on vacation that's amazing thank you julio all right let me see who Thanks. else uh, uh, uh. Hi, Jaime, we have um, Elwin, we have Rosa Dalia. Hey, congratulations, girl. Welcome to the class. Brenda, Beatrice Calderon, thank you. Blanquita, hey. We have Pame, we do have Gabby Velasquez, we have Lisette, so that's good. Excellent. Hey, guys, how are you guys feeling? How was your day? Uh, let me check. Who can help me with the day? <laughs> Brenda, Beatrice Calderon, tell us about your day today. It's and in my day, I stay in the hospital with my daughter mm. because she she have problem of the nose. Nose, uh, uh huh. The, the nose, and uh, she put I and she uh, travel to hospital mm -hmm. and the Friday. Mm -hmm. And now, um, yes, yes. Wow, did she hit something? There was yes. like a blood be bleeding or something like that? Uh, the, uh, it cracks? Uh, no, it's, oh. uh, uh, how do you say sangre? Uh, bleeding, uh -huh. bleeding. Bleeding, bleeding okay. yeah. She is bleeding. Is she okay right now? Excuse me. Is she okay? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm glad to. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, and this day, it's more, uh, more good. 
Oh, so she's better. She's better today. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry that that happens to you. But yes, it's very difficult. I know. Yeah. I can't imagine your baby girl, right? And as a mama, you're like, let's go back to the hospital. But I'm glad that, she, that you're already back home and that she's okay. Well, not like completely okay, but she's better, right? Yeah. I'm so happy. And I'm, and thank you so much for doing your effort, Brendita, to be here in class, okay? Thank you so much. Oh, that's a baby girl. Hey. Hi. Hi, Brandy. Hi. Oh my gosh, she's coughing like. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, uh, yes. In this day, the other day, not. Not. Oh. Mm -hmm. Much yeah. people with uh refriado how do you say refriado how do you say that cold cold very good okay, Jaime. Cold. cold no cool yeah. because cool is like woohoo right okay. cold, like, <laughs> very yes. good thank which you Brendita. which is the difference between flu and cold the fever uh -huh. the symptoms uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah cold is like you're like you have a you cannot like breathe a little bit maybe that the flavor changes and you feel like a little bit down but it's those are like like the symptoms they're like a level symptoms right but if you have fever and etc that would be flu because the symptoms are a little bit high right who else wants to participate here okay thank you so much claudia cecilia <laughs> how's your day tell us Hi everybody. Uh, well, my day was, uh, I think I uh, was a normal day. Uh -huh. um, I went to my work, uh, mysteriously the traffic was quiet and I, I busy all day. I was busy all day and my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the afternoon, I, I went to the, to the gym. To the and gym. I, yes. Sporty girl. Coming from there. Oh my God, you're sweating like. <laughs> yes. My congratulations. Thank you. That's good because if you have a tough job, if you go to the gym or if you do exercises at home, you, you will stress out a little bit, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Yes. Guys, today we're going to talk. Oh, thank you so much, Claudia. Today we're going to talk about uh, something really important. I don't know if you have chance to take another platform, but if not. Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about count nouns and uncount nouns. Have you heard about that? Yeah? Did you use it? Who can tell me what is, what is the definition of count noun? Only one, only one. I know everybody wants to participate. I, I, I don't know. Perfectly. I don't know, but uh, I think that count nouns are like objects, like with you, with you can uh, count one, two, three, four. I don't know. I couldn't say much perfect than you. Yes. So you see, you know already, Leo. You you have to be okay. confident. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Exactly. You're right. Count nouns is something that you can count. And on count noun, of course, is the opposite, right? Something that you cannot yeah. count. All righty. So you know what, guys? We're going to talk about that. But at the same time, we're going to learn how we can use compound nouns as well. Why? Because all the vocabulary that we're going to learn today, it will help us guide to, um, to express ourselves in regards to, to something that happens every day in our country, in our city, in our neighborhood, for example, about transportation, right? About pollution, about traffic, about parking. It is something that we talk, right? For example, Claudia said, today, the traffic was really nice, right? But sometimes <laughs> there is a traffic jam, right? Okay, so very good. Man, let me give you an example of a, a count noun. Pen. Can I pluralize it? Can, a pen? Only one, right? 
Can I pluralize the, the word pen? Pen? Yes. How can I say it in plural? Pencils. No, pen. Pen. Pen is different than pencil. Uh, pens. Pen, uh, mm -hmm. Many pens. No. Oh, pens. Pens. Pen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Pens. You see, I can say pen, right? I read it on the chat. And I can say it pens. Is yes. that right? Yeah. Also pencil. 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 Pencils. Right? Um, can I say it, uh, car? And can I say cars, right? Is that right? Yes. 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 You see, is there something that we can count? Now, something that we cannot count. Well, there's a lot of things that we cannot count. Yes. We cannot count the rice. We cannot count the sugar. We cannot count the milk. Teacher, no. Yes, we cannot count it. If the sugar is in a cup, yes, we count it. If, if the milk is in a container, like in the bottle, yes, you can count it, right? But the sugar itself, the milk itself, and the rice itself, we cannot count it. Okay. Okay. Very good. For example, let me ask you guys can we count um, pollution? No. Can we count it? No. All right. No. no. Mm -hmm. Can we count parking? No. no. Are you sure? Parking, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you see? So guys, we're before we talk about that, before we talk about uh, counts and account nouns and uh, information that we can use not only with account and account nouns and talk related to cities, uh, troubles or city or things that happens in the city, uh, we also we're going to learn how we can combine uh, like two words to make it one. That's what we call compound nouns. For example, let me um, share right now my screen with you. And then I will let you know what else we're gonna do. And let me check it out. Hey guys, can you see my screen? Yep. Yes. No, yes. 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 Tell me why, as long as you're able to see it. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. If you see, guys, we have some words in column A and some words in column B. Am I right? Yes. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take one of the letter of the words in A and one of the words in B and make a compound now. So that means two words to express different word or different meaning. For example, let's take traffic. Which one we can use with traffic from column B? Light. Traffic, yeah. traffic light. Very good. What else? Light. Traffic yeah. jam. What else? Yeah. Very good. Subway station. Stop. Uh huh. Let's change the color. You said subway station? Subway station. Subway what else? Station. That's it, right? Okay. What about, uh, what about boss? Bus stop. Bus station. Bus station. Bus, station. bus, bus stop. stop. Bus Very stop. good. Yoko, also you can use bus system. Mm -hmm. bus. Mm -hmm. bus system. What about parking? Parking. Parking. I don't, I don't know. Parking space. Parking, parking stand. space. Parking stand. Parking stand. Uh, I have my doubts on this one. Parking station. Parking station as well. Yeah. No, but you know what? It's no more, it's not like parking mm -hmm. station, guys. It's parking lot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. What about street? Parking lane. 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 Street yeah. Uh -huh. lane. What about taxi? Taxi station. Oh, so you can use taxi station, yeah. Uh, what about trains? Taxi. 
Train station too. Train station. Train station. Train station. <laughs> train station yeah. Train Place. stop. Train system. Okay. Train and station. what about bicycle? Garage. 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 Okay. Very good. So you see, guys, we have used that, right? That is a compound now. You see, we take information from column A. We take it, we have information for column B, and we mix it up. You see, bus, and we have a station. Bus station. What is a bus station? It's a place where all the buses are there, right? When you keep it. Like if you said, for example, here in El Salvador terminal, right? Terminal, yeah, yeah. Okay, traffic jam. But jam, jam is no jalea in Spanish. Yes, it is. And traffic, of course, you know, is traffic. But if we combine it, it means something different, right? And may I ask you guys, traffic jam, countable or uncountable? Uh -huh. Uncountable. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and, and think about it. Okay, um, bus station. Is it countable or uncountable? Hmm. Can uncountable I say bus stations? Countable. 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 Okay. Countable. Can I say uh, traffic light? Can I say traffic lights? Uncountable. Uh -huh. Uncountable. All right. Can I say subway system? Yes. Uncountable. Subway systems? Uncountable. Uncountable. <laughs> Countable. Yes, it, guys, it, how can you figure it out if one word is countable or uncountable? Just try to pluralize it. If you have you a pluralize, exactly. An S or ES depends on the ending of the word. So if you pluralize it and if and it's able to do it, it's countable. If you're not, it's uncountable. Okay, guys, but let me ask, let me let you know something. Okay, let me stop sharing right now. If you're going to talk about uh, countable nouns, since you are pluralized, which verb to be you think you're going to use? Uh huh. Are. Uh huh. Exactly. There are many. We can say, for example, and let me write it down on the on the chat. In my city, there are many. Parking lots. You see? Mm -hmm. In my city, okay, are many parking lots. I can say are many parking lots or are there there are many parking lots. Um why guys? Why are? What? Why are in the sentence? Why are? Because I'm talking about countable nouns. Do you remember the countable nouns you can pluralize them? Yes. And also, guys, many. Many you use it with countable nouns. So if, if countable nouns, we use are and we use any, what we are going to use, um, we're talking about uncountable nouns. No? Hmm. Uh, let me put it here. Is and much. Hmm? Is and much. Mm, okay. Yes. Let me write it down and, oh, I think I, I need, I, you know what happens to me sometimes? It just, I don't know what happened with here, but automatically change it to send the information into one person, <laughs> but I had to change it to send it to everybody, okay? So I, mean, I, I made a mistake right now. Okay, look at this. There is too much traffic in my city. You see? Mm -hmm. Why is, this is really important and I want you guys to take a look at that. Because remember that uncountable nouns related to traffic or related to transportation, right? In this case, remember that we cannot pluralize it, right? Always will be singular all the time. 
So you gotta use is. You cannot say there are too much traffic. No, there is too much traffic. Yeah, that is really important. How cloudy, the Enriquez? <laughs> hi, hi, girl. Yeah. So you see, that is really important. I want you to emphasize. Hi, teacher. With, with hi, with countable nouns, there are many parking lots. But uncountable now, since you cannot count, always will be singular, all right? So you gotta use is. You cannot say there are too much traffic. No, there is too much traffic because you cannot count. You cannot count traffic. You cannot count the pollution, for example, yeah? And much we're gonna use with uncountable nouns. Yes, Pame, go ahead, girl. I cannot hear you, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. And now? Yes, much better. Thank you, girl. Cool. Okay, uh, with wood, like, uh, I know wood from trees, it's uncountable. I cannot hear you, Pami. Can you please repeat it to me, your question? Yeah. Now? A little bit. Okay, go ahead. Do your best. Okay. Uh, with wood, like from the trees, I know uh, the wood is uncountable, but when we say in woods like uh, a bosque, is is plural. But wood Woods. wood is the material, but bosque is yeah. forest is forest. Uh, we can say we, we can or can like, we can we can we say woods can, can i can you give me a sentence uh, the dog is in the woods like in bosque no but in the forest, in the forest. Okay. In the forest. The forest is, is, is everything where, where all the trees are, but wood is the material that we take out from the trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to be wood okay. and forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, okay guys. Do, do you understand this one? The much and many? Okay. Remember, many countable nouns, much uncountable nouns. All right. Are for countable and is for uncountable. Very good. Now, there is another two words that we can use, guys, when we're talking about transportation and when we're talking about countable and uncountable nouns. And this is really important. And I want you basically, guys, to learn about that. Uh -huh. mm -mm 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 -mm. Have you have you listened or have you used, I don't know, uh, these two words? Fewer and less. Yes? Have you used yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Also, guys, you can use those. And this is what we call here in English. We call, um, when we're talking about transportation for countable and uncountable nouns or some, anything related to our city, uh, we use much and many. But also we use fewer and less. And guys, those are expression of quantity. Okay, but the, the clue is here, or the theme is here, uh, which one do I use for what? Okay, for example, guys, um, basically, both of them means the same, the same, fewer and less, that means minus, right, minus. What is the difference? The fewer, you're gonna use it for countable nouns, and less, you're gonna use this for uncountable nouns, okay? For example, you can say um, there is less, let me check it out. Let me give you another example here. Uh, there should be, mm -hmm. no, there should be, let me put it here. There should be less pollution in, in San Salvador. For example, for example, right? This is an example. There should be less pollution, all right? 
Why pollution? Pollution, remember that there is uncountable now. So we're going to use less. And it is the opposite or, sh or, too, or much, right? It's the opposite. Now, let me give you another example using um, fewer. Okay. Guys, what, which, which transportation costs the pollution? Bus, right? Uh, Microbuses, motorcycle, et cetera. So uh, cars, right? Also. Uh, so we can use either or because all of them we can pluralize. We can use a car, cars, right? Bus, buses, right? Motorcycle, motorcycles, etc. But we can say, uh, we can, we're going to use cars in this case. And let me give you an example using fewer. Okay. So that means that there should be less pollution in Sabalo. That means that there should be fewer cars, okay? Fewer cars. There's less pollution, it is fewer cars. You see, it's exactly the same. If you under, if you read the, the sentences, guys, in both sentences, I'm talking about less, right? Less pollution, less cars. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that the first sentence, pollution, the noun, it is uncountable. So that means that I'm gonna use less. And, and in the second sentence, the noun is car. But I'm, in this case, cars as a pluralizes. So if I'm talking about that there should be minus cars, I'm going to use fewer instead of less. OK? Is that, there's a, is, is it easy peasy, right? Like a piece of cake. But yes, of course, teacher. OK, and now, yes, Leo, you're going to say something? No. No? OK. No, I, I thought you were going to say something, so that's why, like, ooh. Guys, as right now, so far, is it good? Yes. Okay. I will double check it later on, Pame, about woods, okay? All righty, very good. Okay. Now, guys, do me a favor. I'm going to send you pictures, okay? But before I send you pictures, I'm going to share with you an audio. This audio, what I'm going to share right now with you, basically, guys, talks about uh, transportation services, and we're going to listen comments about transportation services. So first, I want you to hear the comments, and then I'm going to share with you a pictures about the comments, and we're going to talk about which one do you think they are talking about. Okay. Allow me just one moment, guys. Let's listen. Let's listen right now that, that they're talking about pollution. Let me see this one really quickly. Oh, this is not. There you go. Unit two. Can you listen, guys? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yes. Caught in the rush. Page 8, Exercise 2, Perspectives, Transportation Services, Part A. Listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Uh -huh. Would you like me to put it one more time? Please. OK. Unit 2. Caught in the rush. Page 8, Exercise 2, Perspectives, Transportation Services, Part A. Listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, 
people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Okay, very good. All righty. So you, if you see, guys, they're talking about their transportation, right? Problems. Is that right? May I ask you guys here in San Salvador or in San Miguel, where uh, Julio is right now, or in, um, let me check, also Edwin lives in San Miguel, right? There are some of us that lives in Santa Teca, in Santa Ana, or in other places. May I ask you guys, do we have our traffic problems? Yes. Yeah. Yes, no. right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Do we have a uh, parking lot problem? Yes. Yes. So you see, guys, now what we're going to learn, not only just to increase our vocabularies that we have seen right now, because we learn about compound nouns and everything, is like also what we're going to learn today, we're going to help us, guys, to uh, how to express ourselves when we are happy with the traffic, we're not happy with the traffic when we're talking about transportation services, etc. Right? So I want you guys to see that what we're gonna learn or we have learned so far, it will help you on your daily basis. Because sometimes you want to like talk about, oh my god, today that was like horrible traffic. But if you would like, for example, compare the transportation services here in El Salvador with uh, another country of Guatemala of Costa Rica, of Mexico, or if you want to compare also transportation systems from here, from San Salvador, from a different department, right? Or from a different city. How can I know that? Everybody has opinions about that, but sometimes we don't know how to say something. So that's what we're gonna learn today, how to express ourselves. And I'm gonna also uh, answer Pame information. <laughs> what she said about wood and woods, don't worry about that. Okay, so guys, tell me uh, what they're talking about. Do you? Uh, I don't. I don't know if you under, if you remember oh, the whole thing that they said, but who can tell me about the first one? What they were talking about? The first expression, or the first? Um, yes, the first expression. Would you like me to play it one more time? Hmm. Or no? Because, no. Well, because right now we just heard three opinions about. Transportation services, is that right? Yes. Well, what's the yes. first opinion about? What did they, What do they say? The old buses are stopping so the, and they cause pollution. Uh-huh, exactly. May I ask you, is it similar here? Yes. Yeah, right. So we're agree with that. Yes. <laughs> okay. What about the second one? The second one is uh, talking about uh, many traffic. Mm -hmm. And it's very dangerous for the bicycle. Yes. And let me ask you, which country mm -hmm. in the planet does it have problems with traffic? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but guys, but I sometimes yes. I think that there are more cars than people. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, yes. right? Yeah, could be, right? I don't know where you live, but... So I used to live in a, a, a neighborhood where, for example, my neighbor uh, lives in front and there were like four family members and each family member has their own car. Can you imagine? Like, oh my God, how come they have four cars? They can't, it, first of all, it's really hard to maintain a car, right? But now they have four cars. Oof. Can you imagine only in, in one house? What about the rest? Mm -hmm. So you see, we're talking about that. Uh -huh. I will give you guys a vocabulary because I want you to talk about traffic and all the stuff, okay? Yeah. So I want you to, to see how practical is grammar here. We, we need to talk about our daily basis, our things, our things that worry about us, et cetera. Okay, what about number three? What was the number three opinion? Uh-huh. Jaime. I remember that he said about parking spaces. Aha, uh -huh, parking spaces. May I ask you, 
is it easy here, uh, for example, uh, when you have to go to the bank? I don't know. To no, find isn't uh, enough. Uh -huh, to find a parking lot spaces isn't enough, right? What, what else? Guys, is there another enough. place besides bank that is easy for you to find a parking spaces? Any other place? Uh, in the hospital right now. The hospital, it's, it's yeah. Enough. Mm -hmm. it's enough. What else? Oh, oh Pame. Oh, you have a baby dog. Oh. Uh huh. What What else? Is there another place that is really hard for us to find a uh, um, sparking slot? Hey, for example, guys, in a places where you receive the the vaccine, right? Remember, some some of some people said that they they prefer to call Uber or somebody who can drive them because there were no parking lots, right? Not in all the areas, but for example, if you go to the um, there were some schools, right, that they were using to, to put the vaccine to the people. Sometimes there were no spaces. There were no parking lots. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true, right? So you see? Okay, guys. Now what I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share the images, the images of what you have heard. And you're going to help me identify which image belongs to which announcement, okay? That's what I'm going to share right now with you. Now, let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. There you go. Oh, I got to open one thing. I haven't opened the WhatsApp. Can you imagine this? Hopefully, is there, everybody is in WhatsApp, right? Or no? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank yes. you. Yes. There you go, so then let's see. Okay, cool. This is what I want. Oof. Some of you have problems, right, with the connection. I think it's because it was raining my heart. There you go. Did you receive it, guys? Yes, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. So now you have the three images there of what you have heard. Now, guys, what I'm going to do, uh, now I don't want you guys to read the sentences. Well, this, the sentence is not there. What I want you guys, because we're practicing the listening part, what I want you guys is to try to listen and at the same time, try to identify with your eyes which picture they are talking about, okay? We're gonna do that exercise right now. All righty, so let me share right now once again. I have yeah. a question. Go ahead, girl. Uh, where are the pictures? Ah, let me ask you, Claudia. Claudia, by any chance, are you in the WhatsApp group? No. Oh, that's the reason why you don't have it. Yeah, okay. May I ask you, you have to be in the WhatsApp in order for me to like share the, the, the images. Or if you want to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen, okay? Okay. And also I'm going to share the audio and try to identify uh, which picture we're talking about. And maybe, Claudia, you can later on, when you check your the email that you received from the model, uh -huh. Uh -huh. They will send you like all details about the model and also they will let you know the link for the WhatsApp. So just you just wow. gotta click on it and then you're good. Okay. 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 But you can do it later on, no problem. I'll okay. keep it with me. Let me check it out. There you go. Ooh, yes. Okay. Page eight, exercise two, perspectives. Transportation services. Part A, listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. All right. So may I ask you, 
Uh, let me read it for you. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. Which picture is, is it talking about? A, B, or C, guys? What do you think? B. 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 Very good. B. Now, there are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are dangerous to bicycles. There is too much traffic. A. 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 And of course, the last one is what? Letter C, right? C. Of course. C. Yeah. Yes. Okay. May I ask you guys? That is obviously, right? Okay. May I ask you guys? Um, okay. This, now I'm going to talk, I'm going to give you some information and I want you guys to work in pairs, okay? This is what I want you to do. So allow me just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna cut here. There you go. Come on. May I ask you guys, does your city, this is gonna be um, a question that I'm gonna make it right now. So hopefully you can answer that question. Very good for a moment. Okay, cool. I'm going to send something here and let me know, guys, if you receive it. I will send it to you right now. Okay. This is the question that I'm going to give it to you. Let me see if I can also share with you guys. I'm going to share right now with you. Also for Claudia, right? Because also cloudy, it's really important. I can also share with you. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna share it. No, this one. Okay, guys, tell me something. Talking about that, does your city guys or town have problems with traffic, pollution and parking? Let's talk about that. May I ask you, does your city or town has problems with traffic, pollution, or parking? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell us. Tell us about that, Anita. Why do you think is that? Because there are a lot of buses that don't, they don't have the maintenance. The maintenance? Mm -hmm. and the, that. And mm -hmm. also the parkings, we don't have em enough. Uh, places where the cars in government offices, hospitals, and uh, churches. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who else wants to open or to talk about that? Berito? I don't know. Ceci? Josue? Leo? Marilyn? Monroe? I think that. Mm -hmm. We have many cars in the city, and yeah. uh, the this weekend I meet a seller. The cars mm -hmm. seller. Mm -hmm. He said that in this office they sell uh, one hundred thirty cars to uh, every month. Uh, really? car, new cars. Wow. Uh, she said that uh, they don't see mm -hmm. the, the recession economic. Economic they recession? Uh -huh. Economic recession because they are selling many cars. Oh, okay. So they're talking about their convenience, right? Okay. What do you think, guys? What about you, guys? What do you think? Jaime? Julio? What about you, Julio? What do you think? What about in San Miguel? Do you have a problem with the parking lot? Yeah. I don't know. Pollution? Yes, yeah, so there, are, there are so much car here. And so much car or too, oh, yeah. too many cars? Too many cars. OK. Uh, and there is uh, uh, enough places to to park the cars. There isn't uh, enough, okay. There isn't enough places to park the cars. 
mm -hmm. for, uh, for the pump, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's almost like the Sabalo city. Mm -hmm. There are so many um, ventas, venta ambulante. I okay, yeah. To say that. Street sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, for the people who, who has to walk, mm -hmm. there is a problem too. Uh, I don't know, if, maybe it's like it's not so much like it's from Salvador City, but it's, there's too many cars. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. And you're talking about San Miguel. Guys, think about El Salvador. Hopefully, you know all the departments of El Salvador, right? We have 14. <laughs> By the way, it's talking about geography, right? Okay, so tell me, guys, I don't know if you are able to travel to La Paz, to Chalatenango, La Palma, Uzuludan, San Miguel, La Olion, Cabañas, etc. You see, I know geography. <laughs> so comparing, guys, to the city where you live and the city where you have the possibility to travel to, which city here in El Salvador do you think has more problems with traffic, pollution and parking lot. What do you think? La Pango. What, Anita? La Pango, I think, in the boulevard. Why? Because there is a lot of cars in that, in that uh, street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On and that street, yeah. Hours, that street and the rush hours. Mm. The peak hours. Peak hours. Yes, I know. Hey, but you know what? A, well, I think he like two, I don't know, almost five years ago, there were like a specific time when you were, you know, oh my God, if I leave from home this time, it's going to be a lot of cars, like 7 a.m. in the morning, for example, or 12 noon when everybody was picking the child's right at school, or 3.30 or 4 with all the government employees coming out of the offices, right? But now, guys, may I ask you, now, do you consider that there's there is a peak hour hours or the peak hours are from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m.? Is there a specific peak hours or are there a specific peak hours or no anymore? What do you think? I think you say no anymore because there are is uh there are too much car. Too many but, cars. Uh, mm -hmm. Too many, too many cars, sorry. But I should be more police officer because the traffic no, is only uh, too many, many cars or, um, or we need uh, more transportation for, him, for, for example. It is, it is a big problem because the, the people who drive in uh, their mm -hmm. car or, or the bus transportation, <gasps> is really nasty because uh, uh, didn't don't um, uh, put in her man uh, the, the, the rules mm -hmm. for the traffic. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> because when the, I went to San Miguel the last the yesterday, for example, uh -huh. when the, you go to the Ilopango, for uh -huh. example, mm -hmm. hey, wow, it's a... Uh, Sentido contrario, what do you say? Sorry. Op opposite way. Opposite way. Wow, it's, it's, it's horrible. Yes. It's horrible. Right. Because now it's only the many cars, is is the form or the way for the driving cars, maybe. So you said that it, they are like a fewer police officers, right? For the yes. for the necessity of the traffic. Okay. Yes, that yes. You're right about that. What about you, Elwin? You, you, you would like to talk about that? Yeah, uh, in my case, este, this happens on weekends mm -hmm. because mm, most people look for the coast Saturday and Sunday. Mm, yes. Uh, but the rest of the week, we don't have those problems. Oh. I'm talking about the uh, Cuckoo Beach. Aha, of course. Yeah. Cuckoo Beach. Oh my God, I have a long time without visiting the Cuckoo Beach, so you cannot imagine. And I love beach by heart. I love it. My dog loves to. He's a, he's a surfer, you know. <laughs> yeah, he is. He likes to like go into the wheels and then come up. Woo! 
<laughs> yeah, he likes it. He loves it a lot. Very good. So, guys, may I ask you something? What do you think that is the biggest problem? We have too many cars, I, too much pollution. What's the I biggest guess, problem? I guess one of the biggest problems is that we don't have a good public transportation. Mm -hmm. That is one of thing. Okay, very good. Thank you, Pame. Somebody else has another opinion? I think the biggest problem in Salvador is security. Because okay. if we had more security uh, walking in, on the street, we could do it. But now we want to buy a car because we have to be secure. We have to get to the places um, in one piece. So it's very hard. And also if the bus services was better and and more sure for us it would be uh we were concentrate less concentration of cars mm -hmm. very good you're right about that and is so hey guys are you agree with gabby velasquez do you have any, anything else to say another point of view Yes, yes, yes. yes Rosita. It's the reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's reality. So you see, guys, how how practical is to know about countable and uncountable nouns, uh, quantity expressions like too many, too much, fewer, and less. And there are grammar. It's grammar. But you see how grammar is useful to express ourselves with a specific topic, like these transportation services. You see? That's why I want you to, to see, guys, that grammar is like, like oh, grammar, ah, no. I told you once, you're, going, you're not going to feel like grammar boring with me. No way. I just want you to show how practical it is to know grammar, especially when we're talking about uh, main topics or really important topics like this one that we're talking about, transportation services, no matter where you live. You see, it's important. Uh -huh. Now. And I really appreciate that you uh, gave your opinion about that, guys. So it's really, really important. So this is what I'm going to do. I will share right now a screen with you. And basically what I'm going to share, guys, is some writing activity that I want you to do at home. And we're going to discuss it tomorrow. Okay. I will give you more details information about the use of many, of much, of fewer and less. So you will have a little square about that. And then you will have like a writing activity because I also care guys about your writing. Okay, we, if you see guys, we have a develop our listening and also our speaking, which is one of the main skills that we want to develop. But as well, you need to like have it in the same pace, the writing, because it's not the same. We need to also improve all the skills. So what I want you to do, guys, is to, this is going to be your homework for tomorrow. And the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to talk about that and we're going to discuss. And then I think we'll have a different thing as well. Hey, guys, I think tomorrow we're going to play. So, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. So um, please study, okay? Just to let you know in advance. Please study because I will have a surprise. I'm a Pandora box, you know, talking about English. You gotta be careful, right, Ceci? Ceci, don't go sleep. <laughs> no, Ceci, Ceci is tired because of the gym. You know what, I? It's time to say goodbye. My goodness, time passed really fast. Woohoo! I will answer your question in a moment, Pame, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, guys, so go to sleep. Have dinner, hugs, and kisses. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good bye, -bye. night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.